Oh, let's get this shimmy shaking. All right, today the video is my top 10 foods that I ate to lean out and lose 20 pounds in the last three months. Today I'm gonna show you the foods that I have been eating for the last three months that have helped me really lean out. I lost 20 pounds and I went from a size 11, 12 to a size six. Whoa. Yeah, that's pretty crazy uh, for me. And I never wore crop tops before that whole thing happened and now I wear them. So the foods I'm gonna show you is the complete basis for my diet right now. They are all low calorie, most of them are high in protein, and they're really versatile. So let's do it! <laughs> My blue <laughs> tongue and my blue lips that I have that my toothpaste will not get rid of. The first food is berries. <laughs> we just literally ate these. I just literally ate berries. These are amazing. High in fiber, low calorie, can eat a ton of them, and they're versatile. I just ate them in blueberry ice cream. <laughs> uh, put them in yogurt, bake them into recipes, baked goods, French toast, you name it, berries can go in anything. We eat berries every day. Next one, <sighs> spinner. Uh, this is plain, fat-free Greek yogurt. We get any kind that's on sale, no specific brand. This stuff is high in protein, low in calorie, and we love the plain because we can add our own sweetener and flavoring without adding extra carbs and sugar, which you get in the flavored kind. This literally can use it in everything. I top my French toast with it, I eat it as a snack, bake it into a ton of different recipes, savory and sweet recipes. If you want protein, you wanna lean out, all of these foods are really good for that. Greek yogurt's a staple we get every grocery day. Just remember, flavor your own. Flavoring your own is the trick. Like I said, if you get the flavored kind at the store, it adds a lot of added things, sugar, carbs. And we have a lot of people say, well, can I, I get the vanilla? No, no, that's a flavor that has a lot of added sugar. You don't want the vanilla, you want plain fat free. If you want vanilla yogurt, what I do is I add a teaspoon of vanilla and a teaspoon of zero calorie sweetener. That makes my vanilla yogurt without the extra step. Protein powder. I love using whey isolate. Any whey isolate, there's no specific brand to get. Because no one will pay us and we're not <laughs> sponsored. Exactly, so don't get Anything specific, a whey isolate that's fairly low in calorie, decent protein, and low in fat. Usually around 120 calories and about 25 grams of protein, less than three grams of fat, and you're good to go. Vanilla is our favorite because it's the most versatile. And we, me and Nicole don't eat a lot of meat just because it's hard to get in our daily protein intake through eating that much meat. So that's where the powder also comes in, plus they're tasty. The protein powder we use in everything. You can add it to oatmeal, any recipe, yogurt, French toast, whatever you want to add more protein to your diet. And it adds flavor if you get a flavored one. These are underrated. This is just extra lean deli slices. We love Black Forest, the Black Forest smoked ham. They're pretty low in fat, you can get anything like chicken, turkey, whatever, anything lean. We always get the ham because ham is good. Seems like a lot of people, as soon as they start dieting, they completely forget about lunch meat. The thing is, I know people are gonna say it's high in sodium, but we don't really worry about sodium because you do need some sodium in your diet. We like it because it adds protein to our diet and it's super versatile. We put those in wraps, we put them in omelets, Pizza, we've been putting it on low calorie pizza a lot. You can just roll it up and eat it with a cheese string or a cheese slice as well for a snack. It's great. And if you don't like ham, yeah, there's chicken, turkey, whatever you like. Anything lean, but the ham is our favorite. So the next one, oops, I tried to be fancy, but it didn't work. Egg whites, low calorie, high in protein, 
they last a really long time. One carton, the expiry date's always good. You can literally put egg whites in anything. I add them to my oatmeal to make it higher in protein. I put it in, we put it in French toast. You can bake with this to make it lower fat, higher protein. I put them in my protein shakes. No, I don't cook it. I don't know if you should do that. Don't listen to me. I've done it for years and there's nothing wrong with me. Uh <laughs> Um, yeah, we drink them. Actually, some of the cartons tell you recipes where you make it into smoothies and protein shakes. They, we drink them and look, we're fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> so anyway, super versatile, low calorie. You can sweeten them, put them savory. This is also an underrated food. Low calorie bread. Most people go, uh, bread makes me fat. It's, it's about the calorie deficit, and these breads are very low in calorie. The thin sandwich bread, two of them is 140 calories, and two of these artisan ones, this is the Villaggio artisan style bread, two of these slices is 150 calories. That's really good. Most breads are like about 170 for two slices, so, Anything, sandwiches, grilled cheese, French toast we make out of these. I've made croutons, garlic toast. You can literally make these into anything you want. And bread does Pizza. not bread does not make you fat. Too many calories makes you fat. Yeah. And this is a good example. Me and Nicole just discovered this. Check your labels. This is white, really thick bread, and it's only 10 more calories than this thin whole wheat. So Look at the size of that. Just make sure to check, read all the labels because every single bread is different. We thought that we could only eat the thins, that they were the lowest calorie, but then we learned about the artisan. So yeah, like Kyle said, check all your labels and you'll find a low calorie bread at your store for sure. Gotta be in a calorie deficit. You can eat bread, man. Yes. This is my favorite. Oh. Whoa. Look, let me do it again. No. <laughs> I tried to be a, a pizza spinner, no. <laughs> so low calorie or low carb wraps. These are my favorite. This is Joseph's Lavash. I love this because you can eat the whole thing for pretty low calories. We make pizza out of these. I make wraps. I wrap up like chicken burgers and stuff I'll show you in a minute. Breakfast burritos. We just had a turkey taco wrap in one of With these those. and it was amazing. Some of the recipes we're developing use these as well. You can make them into pita chips, garlic bread, nachos. Literally, you can do anything with these. I just love them. And they fill me up too because they have fiber in them and you get such a big wrap. I'm always full and satisfied after I eat those. Baby spinach. Love the container too because it's already chopped and cleaned. We literally just pull from it and it's done. You don't have to do any prepping and you get a lot of veggies. What's great about this is you can eat a lot of spinach for very little calories and it's got good fiber in it as well. Spinach is so versatile. You can throw it in a smoothie and uh, spaghetti sauce. You can put it in eggs, cook with it, soups anything you can just throw it in there we put it on our pizza i put it in my wraps every single day on my sandwiches whatever i'm eating i put spinach it fills me up because i get a lot of it for very little calories contrary to popular belief we do actually eat a lot of veggies we eat a ton of veggies along with the chemicals that we always get accused of eating which we do eat <laughs> <laughs> so you're all right you're right yes these babies are another lean protein that we love. Kyle and I do not like cooking. We're very busy and meal prep needs to be super easy for us. These five minutes per side and they're done. And we make them in bulk on the stove in the winter in Canada. And then in the summer, you can barbecue them. They are super lean. They're from Walmart. You get eight burgers in a package, so they last a long time. Now we're in Canada, so these are Canadian Walmart items. Everyone's, yes. a lot of people say I can't get them. 
You guys in the States have access to lots of other chicken burger brands that might be lean, but if you are if you want Walmart or you shop there and you want that brand, I'm sure they have a turkey, some other kind of lean burger. Yeah, I'll just give you the, for one of the burgers, it's 22 grams of protein, three carbs, four fat, and 130 calories. If you're looking for something like this, just look for something as close to that as you can. Yeah, and don't, don't be too pedantic. No, this is like, this is what we eat, but if you want to eat something like this, just eat it similar. You don't have to get the exact We're one. We're just giving you the idea of easy things that actually work for yeah. weight loss, like lunch meat, which everybody forgets. Super cheap. Too. Bread, which everybody forgets, super cheap. Frozen Chicken. lean meat. Anything. These we love, easy to cook. I put these in a wrap. I literally cut this in half Greg Doucette does not like when you cut the chicken burger in half, by the way. No, 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 no. I know there's no rules, but come on. You don't cut a freaking chicken burger in half and put half on one wrap and half on the other without cutting it into little pieces. <gasps> um, but I cut the burger in half, throw it in the low carb wrap, make it into a burger with the bread, put it into pieces on your pizza, on our low calorie pizza, Super versatile, throw sugar-free barbecue sauce on it. And the last one, protein bars. We get the pure protein because- Again, not sponsored, should be. <clears throat> <clears throat> pure um, protein, hello. <laughs> <laughs> we like to stick our under 200 calories for a protein bar and five grams of fat and under, and the pure protein does that. And it comes in a ton of flavors. There's um, chocolate, whoops, that's French side. Chocolate, coconut, birthday cake, maple cream. What I love about protein bars is you can keep them in your car, keep them in your desk at work, your gym bag, whatever you wanna do, they come with you and they have a really good amount of protein in them and they'll keep you full long enough to get to your next meal. We like eating these right before we're about to edit or edit videos or do thumbnails or do videos because it keeps us satisfied and full until we can make our next meal. So they're really great if you're hungry instead of reaching for something you don't want to. But do um, not use them as meal replacements. They're no. not meal replacements, they're a snack. We use them as a snack or an in-between to get to the next meal. They're never, they never replace any real food that we've said here. Um, and that's it. So, the friends, it's super easy, super tasty. I look forward to all these foods, which is also why I eat them, and it helps keep me tr on track and get leany beany. Also, if you want things made really easy for you, we have two weight loss ebooks in the links down below because we've lost 130 pounds each and kept it off for over five years. So if you want to know exactly what we ate, check those out. And let us know in the comments if after six years on YouTube, almost six years, you think we should have a sponsor and we got four million views. Yeah, you should go and tell them. Pure protein. <laughs> What's this one? Mutant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and watch these two videos. Shake it, shake it, bake it. Ah. And wear dog slippers because they're great. I have no idea why someone wouldn't want to sponsor you. I have no clue. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love ya. Thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> you need some sleep. I need some sponsors. <laughs> Bye, See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.